Were, yes. Were. Those, were. those thoughts. Um, negative. Were, were not, weren't. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Weren't worth it. Excellent. Okay, yeah. tell me about that. Why do you think those Yes, were because those? I think that. Uh, I mean, I started in a really small uh, company. I remember that we were only four there, but I I took advantage of that and I continued learning and, it, and I had the opportunity to to work for a bigger companies and I'm really happy with with uh, the place that I'm working right now. Exactly. So so yes, maybe, but but maybe if I hadn't being so worried about it, uh, things could be different right now, no? Maybe uh, I could, I I could, I could, I have say, could have been in a different place right now. Mm -hmm. Could have been. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, so, so I think that this was too much, but maybe it was something that helped me to, to, be, to become the person that I am right now. That's right. Yeah, I mean, it's not all going to the trash, but everything that you were worried about was not, we, you didn't need the, the, the anxiety and the stress. You know? Yeah. At the end, a lot of things happened right, the way you wanted or better. Yes, exactly. That's so good. Well, that's precisely something that happens a lot on, on being worried when we're early. And, and this is something we need to learn how to communicate because we are the faces and the next, the, the generation of people that will educate the next. And sometimes I hear a lot of people saying, ah, man, come on, don't worry, you are in your 20s. But when you are in your 20s, those problems seem the end of the world. So how do you communicate that? How do you actually express it without, without taking value on the worries of another person? You know, the other person is actually worried. How do you communicate it without invalidating the, the feelings and the emotions of another person? So this is something we are going to talk about this week because I think it's something some, some super, super important. We all have nephews. We all have cousins probably or sons that will reach the 20s and will need a helping hand you know so let's listen to what this girl has to say and we're going to see another video about it listen to this you're only 20 something what could you have to be worried about you're 20 something have fun enjoy your 20s you don't need to have it all figured out you're right i'm 20 something and i don't want to be 30 still struggling 40 and stumbling to get ahead 50 preparing for retirement 60 wondering where the time went just yesterday i was 18 a baby adult who couldn't wait to explore the parts of the world i hadn't seen now i'm 20 something with a mental cemetery full of unfollowed dreams i can't spend my 20 somethings just trying to survive i'd rather grind so later on i can chill sit back and thrive then that fear of missing out on life creeps inside and that devil sits on my shoulder what young and wild stories will I have to tell my kids when I'm older then I go on a partying spree and spend a few months never being sober then the fear of failure kick starts again I'm back on an unhealthy grind always working always tired my mom says I need rest to which I respond I'll rest when I die for now I need to escape the matrix the world is constantly changing every day there's a new corruption or controversies how can I live carefree when all I consume every day is constant worry in this economy we're drowning I'm only 20 something and people twice my age can't even afford to buy houses people have bills that fill pages and pages the cost of everything is rising but not our wages then we try and mix love into the equation this generation strays further and further from love by the day being 20 something going through hardships and heartbreak will have you questioning how much more living you can really take so no I don't think I can just chill in my 20 somethings I'm already behind in the race of life I'll never catch up if I decide to take a break and stop running what did you understand do you want to watch it again or do you have comments about it? Uh, could you please repeat it? Sure. Do you agree with, with Isaac, guys? Elsie and Chris? Yes. It's too yeah. fast for me. That was too quick. Okay, don't worry. Let's listen. You're only 20-something. What could you have to be worried about? 
your 20 something have fun enjoy your 20s you don't need to have it all figured out you're right i'm 20 something and i don't want to be 30 still struggling 40 and stumbling to get ahead 50 preparing for retirement 60 wondering where the time went just yesterday i was 18 a baby adult who couldn't wait to explore the parts of the world i hadn't seen now i'm 20 something with a mental cemetery full of unfollowed dreams i can't spend my 20 somethings just trying to survive i'd rather grind so later on i can chill sit back and thrive then that fear of missing out on life creeps inside and that devil sits on my shoulder what young and wild stories will i have to tell my kids when i'm older then i go on a partying spree and spend a few months never being sober then the fear of failure kick starts again i'm back on an unhealthy grind always working always tired my mom says i need rest to which i respond i'll rest when i die for now i need to escape the matrix the world is constantly changing every day there's a new corruption or controversies how can i live carefree when all i consume every day is constant worry in this economy we're drowning i'm only 20 something and people twice my age can't even afford to buy houses people have bills that fill pages and pages the cost of everything is rising but not our wages then we try and mix love into the equation this generation strays further and further from love by the day being 20 something going through hardships and heartbreak will have you questioning how much more living you can really take so no I don't think I can just chill in my 20-somethings. I'm already behind in the race of life. I'll never catch up if I decide to take a break and stop running. Question, what did you understand? Let's begin with Chris. Mm. Well, it was a little quickly, but I understand things like she was anxious in her young life nice. about a lot of kind of things like people buying houses right correct and well basically a lot of things that she thinks that she needed to do mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. invest money save save money save money correct mm -hmm. uh, well basically <laughs> And that's it. Okay, that's it. So, you she's she's uh she's upset. She's worried about all this stuff, especially economy, right? Yeah. Good. Good job, Elsie. What did you understand? Mm, I understood that. She gave a lot of examples of um, I, <laughs> uh, problems in in life, and yeah, that she is very upset, and and that uh, she only wants to live her life, her her twenties, without thinking in in in. Indeed, and this is because I am, I think that the main point is that all the life is a problem or something like that. When you are old, when you are in your forties, uh, fifties, and thirties. Always is always. There are always something that you have to do. There is always uh, something. You said something singular. There is always something. The, there is always. <clears throat> there are. Can you repeat, teacher? If, if you think about this. If it's something, it's singular. Yes, birth to be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there are. Uh -huh. Don't say are. There are. Don't say are because is something. Something is singular. There are a lot of things that you have to resolve in all your in your life. 
in every stage. Sure, sure, totally. There is there is an important thing you said here. Yeah, like she wants to enjoy, but there is a massive but. In a moment, we're gonna continue that. Very good, Elsie. Let's go with Isaac. What did you understand? I do everything that the same with my classmate. Uh -huh. uh, she uses a lot of examples and things that you can be worried about as a baby adult. Um, for example, the cost of living, the future, you, you know, you, 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 I don't know why you are planning your retirement when you are in your early 20s, but I think that she mentioned that. And uh -huh. um, what else? Um, I, I, I'm, not, I, I'm not sure if I, if I understood it very well, but he she mentioned something about uh, uh, you need to calm and enjoy. Uh, uh, for example, something interesting uh, was the, the part that says that you have to rest and you ask, I, I will rest when I am die. Yep. Something I, I always say, something really valid for me. <laughs> mm -hmm. that, That's important. You say it, right? Yes, uh, uh, yes, all the time because I'm always trying to do more and more things. But yes, I feel, I feel, well, I understand that feeling, you know, and, but yes, I think that uh, she's focusing on, in all these problems that are, I think that this is a normal, um, how to say, how to say, uh, is a normal path or the normal flow that the life, life uh, takes. But okay. when you are young, that you life, feel not the life that life takes. Correct. But that when you are young, you can you cannot figure figure out how to solve all those things. And the problem is that uh, well, she mentioned that you you uh, well that she has the feeling that uh, she must figure figure out how to solve everything now at at that age. Right. Totally yes. right. Um, and yes, also the, the cost of living that Elsie mentioned is something that hits me. Okay, okay. There is, I, I see that you understand, you guys understand the idea. She's saying yeah. she's, <laughs> there's a lot of, 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 of worries that she's got. And I want you to understand very important words that talk about her point okay there is one section when she says Okay. Let's begin over here. Okay. What does it say over here? Uh, Isaac, read this section. Yes. Yeah, so, no, I don't think I can just it's chill in my 20 something. That's right. I don't think I can just chill in my 20 somethings. We all said, okay, if you're 20, you need to relax. If you're 20, you need to, you need to chill. Right? What is to chill? Um, mm, that's a new word, right? Yes, like? I think it's something like uh, slow down. Uh, slow down. Slow down. Very good. Elsie, did you say the relax? Yes. You are right. To chill is to make somebody very cold. Well, in this case, it's different. When food and cold chills, to frighten, to spend time relaxing. This is it. To spend time relaxing and stop feeling angry or nervous about something. She thinks that she cannot just chill right now because then 
I'm already behind in the race of life. And I'll never catch up if I decide to take a break. Let's understand this sentence. What is to be behind? Or actually, this is a, uh, phrase of, a phrase of verb called to fall behind. Give me the definition, LC. Let's use uh -huh, this one over here. Mm, fall behind something or, or somebody uh -huh. to fail to to keep level with somebody or something. That right. She soon fell behind the leaders. Mm. Do you understand to fall behind? Mm, I think that yes. yes. Um, Explain um, something. Um, for example. For example, if you are in a, a career, okay. I know a content, and you and the other players uh, pass you, and you. Oh, watch out! That's not a career. That's a race. Race, sorry, <laughs> and you you are in the back. That's right. And you are going back and back and back. The other people are passing by next to you, going faster, yes. and you are falling behind. Mm -hmm. So precisely, she uses the same um, the same idea. She uses the idea of the race. I'm already behind in the race of life. because of economy, because of love, because of many, many, many other reasons. Being 20 today is not similar to, see, to being 20, 20 years ago. And it's even less similar than being 20, 40 years ago. So if you want to compare the life of a 20 year old and, and the life of our parents, when they were 20 years old, of course, life is very, very different. And we need to accept other realities. At the end, it says, if I take a break, I'll never catch up. Definition, Isaac. Uh, yes, catch up um, to find out about things that have happened. Right. Find out about things that have happened. That's that's not the definition we need. <laughs> so yes, that's that's sounds weird. It's a second. It's a second. Um, to reach somebody who is ahead by going faster. Do you understand it? Yes. So people are going fast in some ways. You need to catch up. If you don't catch up, you will never get the things that other people have. This is the issue and the biggest worry that 20 year old people have today. Most of them, other people don't care. <laughs> yeah. Right? Question, what would you tell a person that has these worries? Christian. A person who has worries about money? 
about money. It's not only money. We, oh, wow. Let's read Sorry? again. Mm, well, mm, I don't know. Let's read again. No, I, I mean, I, I understood the question, but. Oh. Mm, but you don't know what to what to tell a person with her words. Yeah. I, I will tell him or her uh -huh. that just relax and the things will flow by by them. Okay. Okay. How so? Yeah. yeah. The the things will come at the time. Nice. Mm, let's say a couple money or a work will come uh, alone, but just give it time. Give it time. I like that 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 phrase. Uh -huh. Give it time, which is actually an expression. Give it time. Just keep on working on yourself, and every eventually everything is gonna happen. Right. Correct. That's a nice tip. Good. If you were her, would those words help you relax? Mm, well, it's, it is easy to say words like that because if you are not in her place, as I say, it's, it's easy. <laughs> yeah. But when you are in the, in the problem, in the middle of the problem, and with all the pressure on it, on, on you, sorry. Mm -hmm. It depends on the person if take the take these words in a good way or a bad way. Let's repeat that. It depends on the person. Mm -hmm. It depends on the it depends on the person to take those words in a good way. Much better. Much better. Or, or not the bad way, or a bad way. I agree with you. Okay, good job. Elsie, what would you tell a person with this anxiety? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> it became uh, harder than you thought, right? <laughs> That it gets it it'll get worse in the future. Right. <laughs> and that today is a day for stay take action. Nice to take action, not for. <laughs> Sorry to take action. <laughs> okay. To take action, how? What do you mean by take action? Yes, um, I think that you have to do a lot of things. For example, get a a career, um, save money for the for the when you get old, and. Get a house. Wow. Yes, get a get a house. I think that now, for uh, because of the economy, mm -hmm. 
it's necessary to get a house because when you get old, if you don't save money and you don't have house, it's difficult that, um, I don't know how to say to, it's difficult because you have to live in, in a house. I don't know how to say it's, um, you're 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 going no, well. You're going well. It's it's uh, no, nobody um nobody um, nobody is going to give you money or or care about you. Only you. You and yourself. Yes, you and yourself. That's a good, good, good couple of words, you know? Yeah, because it, do you, that that's a very difficult thing to say because it can either take the person to a massive depression because there's no solution or take the person to the best version of, it, of themselves and improve their life by themselves and create everything by themselves. Like, those words are particularly uh what's the name of this dividing like the, the person can can take the two extremes you know what i mean yes do you agree with it in which part in the part that the person can take any of the two extremes any of the two not extremes no 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 that's not the word in english any of the two uh, the two ends mm. do you know what i mean with end yes mm. Maybe it's because I really enjoy be peaceful. Is it really the correct word? Being. Being peaceful. Peaceful. Mm -hmm. So uh, I know people that maybe uh, they are in, his, in their... 15 and they still pay rent that's right in uh, what age and they can start like 50. 50 say that as a plural 50s 50s exactly so again you know people the ah they are in in their 50s good and they are still paying rent, but the salary isn't good. So they feel now a lot of pressure because they don't have enough money to pay rent and pay the food um, and do other things. Mm -hmm. But, and also if if they, if they are fired, yeah, there is a lot of problem because you you have the pressure to get another job for paying the rent, and it's, mm -hmm. it's a cycle, a vicious cycle. Is that a question? The, if the word is correct, vicious cycle. No, yeah, <laughs> unstable. <laughs> No, the, the word is correct. It's correct to say vicious. Uh, yes, mm -hmm. it's a vicious cycle in this life. <laughs> yep, that's right. So, of course, that, that's that's uh, that's that, those are that's precisely the, the the issue that this woman has. It's like, okay, am I going to be still paying rent at fifties? Should I, if I relax right now? Am I going to be in that position? That's the cycle, the mental cycle where the woman is in this moment. 
you know? So that's an, an important way to say, or to con start considering, what am I going to tell my younger fellows when this crisis happens? The 20th crisis. You know, that's precisely the issue. In a moment, we're gonna continue. We go back to Isaac, but first let's go to Jesse. Jesse, hello, girl. Good night. Hello, Michelle. Good night. Good night, everyone. I will be attendance, please. Is here Elsie? Hello, Elsie. Good night. Hello, Jess. Good night. Thank you, Elsie. Um, Christian, hello, Christian. Good night. Hello, good night. Thank you, Christian. And Isaac. Hello, Isaac. Good night. Hello, good night. Thank you, Isaac. So, thank you, everyone, to be here. And see you tomorrow. Have a good week. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very thank you. much. All right, Isaac, what would you tell a person this midlife crisis? Uh, the same that they'll see, it will get worse. I watch out for okay. worse without a T. Worse, worse, it will get worse. Now, I think that oh, it's something really difficult, no? But I think that depending on the context. I mean, if you are living with your parents, will you hear yeah, that if you have money to continue studying and everything, I would say that you don't, uh, that not everything that is in your mind right now, it's that hard. Um, you maybe need to change your perspective, but something, however, you don't have to waste your time, no? You have to find something that makes you happy and also makes you earn money. And enjoy enjoy the time you 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 have, especially if you are like if that if you don't have like financial or if you have any kind of responsibilities. Yes. Because to be honest, when you are twenty at your early twenties, um, obviously, well, uh, I I think I'm not sure, but I I'm assuming that this this girl doesn't have like kids. The, uh, she is using a cell phone to to record a TikToks, a TikTok. So she has access to internet to a cell phone. Mm -hmm. So uh, there are worse things that you can be living in that in that moment. So just try to enjoy it and and don't be so worried about the things that you cannot uh, how say control that you cannot control. Nice. Those are nice words. Very stoic words. Yeah, from, experience. In experience. <laughs> it's yes, experience and, talking. And, and therapy. <laughs> and therapy. Super important. Yeah. Uh, yes. And if you have the you have the opportunity to take therapy, uh, exactly. Do it. Yeah. <laughs> that's another thing, right? It's if you have the yes. benefit to actually take therapy, go and do it. Yes. <laughs> I agree with you. All right, well, we're gonna talk about different ways to handle life during this following week. It's gonna be super interesting. We're gonna learn a lot of vocabulary. So let's, that's gonna be the topic, okay? I, I wanted to teach you this expression and Elsie, uh, remind me of that expression. Have peace of mind. You When you said, Elsie, that you like to remain peaceful, it's better, to say to have peace of mind or to keep peace of mind. This is an expression to say you can not chill, but you are not saying relax because the word relax is very, very, very demanding. Like it's an order. This word is like probably situations are difficult around you, but keep your mind super, super stable have peace of mind. Take a note on this expression. Do you have any question? No, teacher. Awesome. Well, we finished for today. Got it? Let's keep on going. Thank you. See you, teacher, everyone. Thanks. Thank you. See you. Bye. Bye-bye.